thought it would be cute to film outside, but there are wasps like everywhere and they're doing this thing right now where they're in the grass. I'm not sure what they're up to, but I'm brave, so I will I will push through. It is a beautiful, beautiful day here in Alabama. As soon as fall, like the official first day of fall hit, it became cool outside. It's probably not going to stay that way, but I am thoroughly enjoying it. If you're kind of new here, uh, I collect rocks. So every once in a while I do a video where I just show off my latest acquisitions. And I realize it's been about two years since I've done one of these. I mean, COVID really cut into my rock purchasing. Um, but looking back since my last video, I do have several to show you. So that's what is happening right now. Are we going to start with the best? I think we are. Okay, this is my pyromorphite, which was a dream rock for me. This is pyromor pyromorphite on Matrix, but I don't know if you know anything about this rock, but it's extremely expensive. So the fact that I was able to find it in this formation made it possible for me to afford it. One of my favorite rocks, I have it on display in my room, and I just love that green color and then the sparkly little crystal formations. Yeah, I am so, so grateful to have found that. I got that at a gem and mineral show at the end of 2019 before we knew what was about to happen to us. Okay, next, at the same gem and mineral show, I got these two pieces of Larimar, which I always thought was Larimar, but what do I know? Anyway, I love this stuff. This obviously isn't the most high quality version of this stone, but it makes me feel probably the way it makes anyone feel. Just really at peace, really refreshed, really cool. I love the way this looks. Next, from that same gem and mineral show at the end of 2019, I got this tiny little Dioptase. This is such a gorgeous color. And again, this is another really expensive mineral. So the fact I was able to find it in such a small matrixy formation made it possible for me to afford. And I adore this color. I adore this rock. Okay, this is a rock that I had never heard of before. Saw it at the same gem and mineral show in 2019. It's Phosphoceridite. I hope I said that right. It is this gorgeous pinky purple color. And I don't know why I don't see or hear much about this specific type of rock, but it kind of reminds me of an Easter egg. I love it and I definitely want more. So I've always got my eye out for it, but it's kind of hard to find. Okay, then there was a huge blank space in my history of collecting rocks. So let's jump ahead to May 2021 and we went to North Georgia. So there was a rock shop there and um, first of all I got this tumbled Larimar <laughs> because most of the pieces I have are just like more rough. So I thought this tumbled chunk was really pretty and it's actually got beautiful little watery patterns on it. I thought this was a good little piece. And from the same shop, trying to focus on buying things that I don't already have. So I'm just trying to diversify rather than keep buying more of my favorites. I'm trying to make sure... <laughs> oh my gosh, I love... Making sure I have a really wide variety. So I got this Nephrite Jade. And it's just a nice dark forest green color. And this is a nice one to hold in between the fingers. This isn't the most dazzling piece, but... I feel like it's an important addition to the family. Next is another rock from the same shop in May 2021, and it's something I hadn't heard of before. It's cinnabarite, and it's pink. Any naturally occurring pink, I'm a huge fan of. So I grabbed this little guy. Love the shape of it. Love the weight of it. Again, not the not a, a show piece, but something I didn't have before. Okay, next trip, we went back to North Georgia in June. Found a couple more places that sell rocks. This one was from a metaphysical shop. So I got this Epidote Tumbled, which I don't have like a piece by itself. I have Epidote on Prey Night, but not Epidote by itself. And when I got this, the lady was like, 
be careful with that <laughs> because any t way that you're feeling if you have this stone with you it amplifies however you're feeling and I was like noted crystal healing isn't my primary uh, reason for collecting rocks I just like rocks but noted I also got some howlite which I always kind of thought was kind of standard kind of basic but I didn't have any this is actually it feels really nice it's really smooth it almost feels like ceramic and um, it's very peaceful I like the little gray cracks in it and it's a nice little piece another rock I didn't have was sunstone fire is my favorite element so I love like sun energy um, I like the fiery rocks like carnelian so I was like I need some sunstone in my collection and finally from this trip I got some roto rhodochrosite rhodochrosite the pink rock you know you guys know if you like rocks this was the last piece that the seller had so it wasn't the prettiest shape or the brightest color but I still felt like I wanted this. It has a really like really glossy shiny finish. I like the interesting shape of it so I'll probably get more of this in the future but this is my first little piece. Oh I have one more from this trip. Sodalite. I didn't have this one before either. I picked one that has like a cool little split down the middle so it's half dark blue and half light blue and I like the rough texture of this and yeah now I've got Sodalite. Okay finally uh, is the rock show I went to this month. So glad to have another rock show in my life. It was mass required and everything, but I'm really glad that it happened. A lot of sellers came in from all over the country, which was awesome. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this azure azurite nodule, like a little crunch berry. I love the word nodule and I love that this is like a naturally occurring little sphere. It's amazing. And then when these get bigger, you can slice them. It has beautiful inside, but this one obviously wasn't big enough to do that. But I just think this is so cute. Next is another piece that I may have not even seen before. This is blue aragonite. Its color is crazy. I just Googled it really quick first before I bought it to make sure this wasn't like a laboratory rock because the color was so insane. It's real. So blue aragonite, this is gorgeous. That like Caribbean blue is probably my favorite rock color. Next is Mangano calcite. It's this softest pink color. You can't really see it unless you're looking at it in person, but it's, it's just so soothing. And I love the, the rounded shape of it. It's just like a soft pink marshmallow and the seller this guy's selection was like pretty pink compared to what you might see when you google it so I was really impressed with the pinkness of these and had to get it and now for the big and special piece I got from this show I decided like I'd get myself one thing that was big by big I mean like $25 I was drawn to it okay and then the lady that was selling them said that a lot of people have been drawn to this specific rock today sometimes like people won't buy it at all and then other times like everyone will be buying it which I thought was kind of interesting anyway it's fluorapatite look at that apparently this is fluoride imitating appetite <laughs> appetite <laughs> okay I'm back do you see how brave I am anyway this is fluoride imitating appetite it reminds me a lot of hemimorphite which is my favorite rock I love botryoidal grapey bubbly shapes and this has it's blue but with like a little touch of sea foam green to it so I thought this was really interesting it also the bubbles feel just really smooth they're kind of almost shiny I went back and forth between this piece and a piece of fibrous malachite which was gorgeous but ultimately I went with this and I love it there you go I have braved the wasps and the neighbors barking dogs to film this outside to share the beauty of this day with you I hope you enjoyed looking at my new rocks I'm very proud very blessed very grateful for these wonderful little pieces of Earth's treasures. 
Okay, now I'm going to retreat to the safety of the indoors again. Thanks for hanging out. Come back and see me. Bye!